Hi Aquarius, how are you? Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. I hope you all are doing well. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node in both Vedic and Tropical Astrology because I practice both. Let's go ahead and see what energies are coming in for you guys. If you're new here, welcome, and you end up liking the video, please hit the subscribe button. It'll help my small channel to grow. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so what do the Aquariuses watching this video need to know right now? Okay. What do the Aquariuses watching this video need to know? Messages for the Aquarians. Okay. All right. So this is really interesting energy here. And honestly, I'm not really sure that it's you guys' energy. I kind of feel like this is somebody else's energy that's in your energy, if that makes sense. Um, so we have here the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Coins in Reverse, the Ace of Coins in Reverse, and the Five of Coins in Reverse. So what I'm getting here is you guys have somebody that's watching you. Um, for some of you, it actually, with the Queen of Coins in reverse, I feel like you guys are mainly just focused on yourself, your own abundance. Um, and for some reason, I think that's triggering somebody. <laughs> um, this could very well be a specific message. I'm not sure. But I feel like you guys have a lot of things going on right now, a lot of things that you're trying to get up off the ground. You guys could have had a delay in a new beginning, um, but I feel like there's somebody that's watching you. It very well could be, um, I'll give you an example. Let's say you had somebody that you were connected to, and now they're connected with some, and they're connected with somebody else. You could have a feminine energy that is, um, I'm picking up jealousy, that's a little bit jealous of you. Um, and I feel like that's because right now she doesn't really have anything going on for for herself or if this is, let's say this is a male energy, maybe he doesn't really have anything going on for himself or anything that's taking off for him. So he is, he or she is keeping an eye on you and in this five of swords energy here. That's what I'm getting. So I really want you guys to protect your energy because I feel like you guys have not just one person, but multiple people watching you. And that's because you guys are doing really well. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on, um, you know, what your endeavors are. And I feel like you do have people, I feel like you do have people that admire you, like you have admirers, but you also have someone that's in this, this kind of haterish energy to be honest. I mean to start off with the five of swords, this talks about an empty victory, winning at all costs. This can talk about somebody, you know, that's jealous or, you know, will do anything to get ahead. And I feel like there very well could be people that are um you know, and I feel like you're not even paying these people any mind. I feel like you're focusing on your own business. And for some reason, these people are focusing on you. I do feel like there is somebody in your past that wants to come back around. You could have been dealing with somebody that was selfish. That could have been materialistic or, you know, after the next big thing, thinking the grass is greener, um, you know, over here and over there. And then shortly realizing that's not the case. And they want to come out of the cold with the five of coins in reverse. I do feel like you guys do have... Um, New beginnings that are coming for you. I feel that if you're not seeing it yet, it will be coming. It's here, and you're gonna start to see increases. Is what I'm is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of clarifying here and see what else. So if you have um, a love interest on your mind, let's go ahead and see how they're feeling for you. So how is Aquarius's love interest uh, love interest feeling for them right now? How is Aquarius's love interest feeling for them? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is interesting energy. This really could be the eclipse energy that I'm seeing coming through here because this is Wow. So there's somebody that's not taking action towards you. This could have been someone that was emotionally manipulative in the past and wasn't really telling you their feelings with the King of Cups in reverse. Um, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel this is somebody that can't stay away from you. <laughs> They're very attracted to you. Um, and this is also someone that's good looking, charming, you know, ambitious. I feel like this is... Um, 
yeah, somebody that wants a second chance here with the judgment card. But right now, for whatever reason, they're not taking action. Um, and I think it's because, you know, they possibly feel like they, not possibly, I feel like they messed up things in the past when it came to you. Um, and I feel like right now they are watching you while you're focusing on yourself is what I'm getting. So you definitely have someone in your energy. Um, and this could even be like lingering energy that's around you. Okay, so what is what are what actions are this person going to take? The tower and the six of cups in reverse. I feel this person is coming back unexpectedly, but for whatever reason, it's like you with the six of cups in reverse, this is somebody that's refused to do their inner childhood healing, right? They, this is somebody that is um, that you both are kind of having negative feelings about what happened in the past. But I feel like this is um, somebody that's living in the past. We have Scorpio here, Pisces, Cancer, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, and more Aquarius too. Some of you guys dealing with another Aquarius as well. But this is a person that has a lot of love uh, for you. Someone that feels like they could have had a family with you. I don't know if you've had kids with this person or whatever it is, but I feel like um, there's some type of shakeup. Now, for some of you, if you're dealing with somebody that has kids with somebody else, I feel like there could be a sudden breakup within that connection. And so they're, they're, they're wanting to let go of that past person or whoever it is that they were dealing with, but that person might be holding on to them. But at the same time, they're wanting to come towards you. I'm sorry, I'm getting a um, a lot of different messages. Um, so if you don't want to hear about that person anymore, let's just go to new love and kind of see here. Um, what's coming in for Aquarius as far as new love goes? What can Aquarius expect as far as new love? We have faith here and we have the justice card with the ten of coins. Okay. In the world. So I feel like you guys are attracting in somebody that's very successful with the world card. They could be a different ethnicity than you, or they could be somebody that's, you know, uh, well-cultured or multiracial. Um, some of you, this person could be at a distance. I feel you're attracting in someone. It could be, um, I'm getting Venusian energy. So Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well. We have Scorpio, Capricorn. Um, you're attracting in somebody that wants to be a fair partner towards you. It's somebody that you can grow and have a commitment with because the faith card is like the hierophant this could possibly be somebody that um that is divorced or has recently let go of another connection um but i feel like they see a legacy with you um is what i'm getting here with this ten of coins so as far as new love goes yeah i feel like for a lot of you guys it's coming in fast here with this nine of swords yeah, you guys have been holding back. Some of you guys have been celibate or you just have been really, you know, picky and choosy on who you're giving your energy to. And I feel it's going to pay off. Yeah, because you guys were heartbroken in the past over something that you thought was going to be, I don't want to say forever, but you really thought it was going to be a long term commitment. And that person was just cold, detached, not giving. They played mind games. Um, some of you, they got someone else involved or they just were more focused on their own work and um they couldn't, they also could have had someone else that they couldn't let go of as well. Yeah, I feel like you guys are moving on from that energy, closing all that out. It's like a new cycle, new fresh energy. And this person is going to be, um, they're going to have a good sense of humor. They're going to make you laugh. Um, there's someone that you could really see yourself being committed to. So I love that for you guys. Um, I did want to use this deck here. This is from, um, divine portal here on youtube you can find her on instagram at um magical mamacita <laughs> i really love her uh platforms but yeah let's get some messages from your love interest oh, here we go i stalk you on social media right off the bat it's not just them who if they're connected with someone else or dating with someone else this is they're they're watching your social media too. I'm gonna tell you that right now for Aquarius. I'm trying to leave them. Look, they're trying to get away from whoever they're dealing with. I cry myself to sleep knowing that I lost you. This person messed up. For some of you, this is an ex. For others of you, this could be the father of your of your kids, possibly. Look at how these cards are flying out. This is crazy. 
look, let me show you that I'm different. This person wants you to know that they've changed. I think about you when I'm with them. This is taking a crazy turn. Yeah, this person, they tried to replace you. They couldn't do that. Yeah, some of you, I'm jealous of your new lover. So they think you have someone new or you could be talking to somebody new because, you know, Aquarians have options, okay? Yeah, look, let's go on a date. <laughs> Someone's trying to leave whoever is driving them crazy and they want to go out and connect with you. And that's what I'm getting. Uh, what else? Yeah. So some of you guys have a divine connection coming in. Or this person feels like they had like a soul connection with you, a divine connection with you, and they lost it. Some of you guys have someone that's kissing you from heaven right now that's watching over you. Yeah, look at that. I respect you for setting boundaries. They try to come at you with some, I want to say some lame shit, but they try to come at you in a different type of way and you weren't having it. You you set boundaries real fast and you know what? They're actually respecting you for it because I feel in the beginning, you know, you some of you guys, you really loved whoever you were dealing with and you just constantly was, you know, forgiving them and bending over backward for them. And then finally, you know, you adjusted that crown on your head and said, no, I'm not putting up with it anymore. And um, yeah, I didn't know how much I loved you until I lost you, right? Now you guys are single, happy, and peaceful. Look, you, them and that person is arguing about you. This is crazy. So just know you're being watched. Didn't I tell you from the beginning of this reading that somebody was keeping an eye on you? All right. Well, if this resonates, let me know. You can comment down below. Hit the like button if you um, enjoy the video as well as subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, I'll have the link to my shop down below. Love you guys. Bye, Aquarius.